Gottfried Feder, the 27th of January 1883 to the 24th of September 1941, was a German civil engineer, a self-taught economist and one of the early key members of the Nazi party. He was their economic theoretician. It was one of his lectures delivered in 1919 that drew Hitler into the party. Topic: <inaudible> Biography <inaudible> <inaudible> Feder was born in Würzburg, Germany on 27 January 1883 as the son of civil servant Hansa Feder and Matilda Feder After studying in classical gymnasiums in Ansbach and Munich, he studied engineering in Berlin and Zurich Switzerland. He then founded a construction company in 1908 that became particularly active in Bulgaria where it built a number of official buildings. From 1917 on, Feder studied financial politics and economics on his own. He developed a hostility towards wealthy bankers during World War I and wrote a Manifesto on Breaking the Shackles of Interest der in 1919. This was soon followed by the founding of a task force dedicated to those goals that demanded a nationalization of all banks and an abolition of interest. That year, Feder, together with Anton Drexler, Dietrich Eckert and Karl Harrer, were involved in the founding of the Deutsche Arbeiterpartei German Workers Party DAP. Adolf Hitler met him in the summer of 1919 while he was in an anti-Bolshevik training course at Munich University—funded by the army and organized by Major Karl Meyer—and Feder became his mentor in finance and economics. He helped to inspire Hitler's opposition to Jewish finance capitalism. Delivering political courses alongside Feder was Karl Alexander von Müller, son of Bavaria's culture minister, who spotted Hitler's oratorical ability and forwarded his name as a political instructor for the army, an important step in Hitler's career. Topic: 1920s. In February 1920, together with Adolf Hitler and Anton Drexler, Feder drafted the so-called 25 points, which summed up the party's views and introduced his own anti-capitalist views into the program. When the paper was announced on 24 February 1920, more than 2,000 people attended the rally. In an attempt to make the party more broadly appealing to larger segments of the population, the DAP was renamed in February 1920 to the Nationalsozialistische Deutsche Arbeiterpartei National Socialist German Workers Party, NSDAP, more commonly known as the Nazi Party. Feder took part in the party's Beer Hall Putsch in November 1923. After Hitler's arrest, he remained one of the leaders of the party and was elected to the Reichstag in 1924, where he stayed until 1936 and demanded the freezing of interest rates and dispossession of Jewish citizens. He remained one of the leaders of the anti-capitalistic wing of the NSDAP, and published several papers, including National and Social Bases of the German State, 1920, Das Programm der NSDAP und sein Weltanschaulichen Grundlagen. The program of the NSDAP and the world views it's based on 1927 and was will Adolf Hitler? What does Adolf Hitler want? 1931. Feder briefly dominated the Nazi Party's official views on financial politics, but after he became chairman of the party's Economic Council in 1931, his anti-capitalist views led to a great decline in financial support from Germany's major industrialists. Following pressure from Walter Funk, Albert Vogler, Gustav Krupp, Friedrich Flick, Fritz Thyssen, Hallmar Schacht and Emil Kerdorf, Hitler decided to move the party away from Fetter's economic views. When Hitler became Reichskanzler in 1933, he appointed Fetter as undersecretary at the Ministry of Economics in July, which appointment disappointed Fetter, who had hoped for a much higher position. Nazi Germany. Feder continued to write papers, putting out Kampf gegen die Hochfinanz, The Fight Against High Finance, 1933, and the anti-Semitic Die Juden, The Jews, 1933. In 1934, he became Reichskommissar, Reich Commissioner. In 1939, he wrote Die neue Stadt, The New City. This can be considered an attempt at Garden City building through the use of Nazi architecture. 
Here he proposed creating agricultural cities of 20,000 people divided into nine autonomous units and surrounded by agricultural areas. Each city was to be fully autonomous and self-sufficient, with detailed plans for daily living and urban amenities provided. Unlike other garden city theorists, he believed that urban areas could be reformed by subdividing the existing built environment into self-sufficient neighborhoods. This idea of creating clusters of self-contained neighborhoods forming a mid-sized city was popularized by Uzo Nishiyama in Japan. It would later be applied in the era of Japanese new town construction, however, despite its consistency with the blood and soil ideology of the Nazis, his concept of decentralized factories was successfully opposed by both generals and junkers. Generals objected because it interfered with rearmament, and junkers because it would prevent their exploiting their estates for the international market. After the Night of the Long Knives in June 1934, where saw leaders like Ernst Röhm and left leaning party officials like Gregor Strasser were murdered, Feder lost favor with Hitler and began to withdraw from the government, finally becoming professor for settlement policy at the Technische Hochschule Berlin in December 1936, where he stayed until his death in Murnau, Bavaria, on 24 September 19. 41. Footnotes See also Strasserism External links Das Programm des NSDAP und sein Weltanschaulichen Grundgedanken. The Programme of the NSDAP and its Ideological Foundations. By Gottfried Feder at archive.org. Programme of the Party of Hitler, the NSDAP and its General Conceptions in English. Das Manifest zur Brechung der Zinsnechschaft des Gelds. The Manifesto for Breaking the Chains of Gold. By Gottfried Feder at archive.org. Fetter's patent for an apparatus for making concrete piles in the ground on Google Patent Newspaper clippings about Gottfried Fetter in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.